Staying with the Uzbek leader's visit, President Moon Jae-in said Uzbekistan is key to his plans to work with Eurasia. The duo signed several MOUs and agreements throughout the day. Hwang Wo-jun explains why there was an emphasis on economic cooperation. Economic cooperation was the name of the game. President Moon Jae-in sent a congratulatory message to the Korea-Uzbekistan Business Forum, attended by his Uzbek counterpart, President Shafkat Mirziyoyev. In his message, President Moon reiterated his new northern policy, the administration's plan to reinforce economic cooperation with Eurasian countries, a concept first introduced by President Moon when he visited Vladivostok in September. Under the policy, Korea would establish a new economic cooperation committee with Russia and Central Asian nations and pursue joint projects with Eurasia in various areas, including the economic, transportation and energy sectors. President Moon said in his message that he considers Uzbekistan the center of the plan as a key nation in Central Asia. President Moon's efforts to expand economic cooperation with Uzbekistan were in the two leaders' signing of key agreements and MOUs shortly after their summit meeting Thursday afternoon. Under the agreement, Korea will provide Uzbekistan with financial support worth up to 2.5 billion U.S. dollars. This will include a $500 million loan as a part of the Official Economic Development Cooperation Fund for the next three years, starting in 2018. And according to the Blue House, the agreement will be a key opportunity for Korean companies to enter the Uzbek market and to take part in Uzbekistan's new economic, social and infrastructure development projects. Moreover, Korea also agreed to support Uzbekistan's entry into the World Trade Organization and to increase cultural exchanges to boost bilateral relations. The two leaders agree to further cultivate a mutually strategic and cooperative relationship, and that promises to give President Moon's new northern policy new momentum for the years to come. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.